This is a special announcement. Yetball Entertainment. Bro, the grammar too much. Yetball Entertainment Network now your number one network production company. Photo and video production when we do to make sure say all your bonge parties and meetings, the enter video recording and even live streaming. To come package your next event or your next matter, just call us for this number. 240-595-1802 or 240-605-0133. Or if you even call 240-543-543. 0913 or plus 234 807 You feel through way email come meet us for yet ball photo video at gmail.com or even sell for yet ball photo video at yahoo.com. Enough finish for the L. You can also follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Yet Ball Entertainment Network. We full ground to cover your next event. Just call us today to come cover your matter. Yet Ball Entertainment, Entertainment Network, Network, your, your Ogunga Ogunga production, production company. Abalabani o gbogbo mo yo ba tata tata ba ni e ko gbona pelu akara mi mu laaro kutukutu ka tu re bi ise a ma de na nu a si ma de ni arun hoyin you are doing well sha dollar kitchen tun pesi e lata go mejo aro titi da go mo kala lojo ojumo pelu e ko tutu ati pepe soup lowo oro le o nje osan tun ko iyan olodo ni ka je amalabula jollof rice e wa agoyan ti dodo e foriro plantain at eja White rice dodo at the chicken, but no one will see this on your lewa. It has a new motto. Place your order now. True door dash, drop up or Uber Eats. 832 774 3464. Shadow location. Shadow location. 11323 Business Street, Houston, Texas. 77099. Or Shadow Texas at Yahoo.com. Shadow location. Bubun Jelewa. Iron Lubati.
Yeah.
separated ones, our anointed or appointed ones, people that he has set aside to glorify his holy name. And I thank God you are one of them tonight. If you are one of them, shout hallelujah. I never ever thought we're going to hold a service tonight. I never thought we're going to hold this service. But I thank God for those that are here. It is not like what I said earlier. It is not how many we are. What is important is the manifestation of the glory of God. Joseph was a minority when he met Christ. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were minorities. Out of the multitude, God selected them and used them as good examples. And may, may you be used for God's glory tonight in Jesus' name. And before we go into uh, calling our special guest tonight, the Spirit of God has led me to let us know one thing, that you've come to meet Christ here tonight. Amen. Probably today, tonight might be your own night. Amen. If I were you, I would say with boldness that it is my night. It is my night. I can't hear you. It is my night. Come on, say it like you mean it. It is my night. Okay, say, just point your fingers and say, I know today is your night. Today is my night. No, 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 you're, you're not doing it, you're not listening. Just point your hand, your finger to me and say, Zanu, tonight is your night. Tonight is my night. Apart from the people that are bearing Zanu here. Okay, let's personalize it. Say, yeah? today is your night. Yeah? You're not today is your night. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now you're going to raise your voice up to God. I said, God, I've come to meet you here tonight. Like Anna did in Shiloh, a place where God was represented. The Messiah, where he was represented. Where he set aside, especially for a purpose, and that purpose is prayer answered. And it is your own children now where God is in total control tonight. You are going to raise up your voice to God now. And tell him, God, I've come to meet you. By this time next year, I want to come back here with testimonies. Amen. If you believe that, she a big amen. amen. This is no silent prayer. You got to cry loud. Like somebody that needs something, and very important, like you never done before. You're going to raise your voice up to God and tell God, God, I've come to meet you here tonight. And I decree by this time next year, I'm coming with testimony. That is going to be your prayer for. Let's go. Come on, pray now. I'm not even hearing you. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Come on, somebody begin to praise God. 
begin to ask for him to give up for good days. James chapter 1 verse 17 says, I'm going to buy my gifts. Thanks for him. Tell God your problem. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. There was somebody that went before the presence of God the same time like this. In a little city called Shiloh, named after the Messiah. That means that city, they believe Jesus lived there. Somebody is not praying. That person that needs the prayer most is not praying. You know who you are. In the expectation of something that you've been pursuing for years, for months. And you have the opportunity now to run away with that promise of God being fulfilled. Shall we do one more time? Come on, pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. God is visiting someone tonight. God is about to manifest himself in the life of someone here tonight. That person could be you, it could be you, it could be me. Mo wa wa ka lu shoro mi Mo wa wa ka Mama jen pa sile pa lu shoro mi You come with your supplications I desire and request I'm very sure before you leave this mountain of grace those hard desires and requests will be fulfilled. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah. Amen. My God is mightier than them. A name that the devil trembles before. The name that is greater than the greatest. And the name that is mightier than the mightier. Isaiah 42 verse 6 says, To whom can we compare you with? The man that has all glory, all honor, that is of our presence. Jehovah! God! As a prophet of God for this moment, your children have gathered, that's why the situation, circumstances, that we are in, that we find ourselves in. The church is with that, yes, they just got to come and meet you. And they're not coming for nothing. In the, they're coming in expectation to receive something back yes. from you. Yes. I decree with your loudest amen, you will not go in vain. You will not leave this place in vain. Amen. The Lord that answered Sarah or Hannah yes, yes, in her own day, that law is still in existence. He has not changed. Thank you, Jesus. I decree one more time, before you leave this place of prayer, your heart desires will be fulfilled. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout a greater hallelujah. hallelujah. Do we want to see now? Okay. Some people will be looking for chairs now. That means you'll not be going to the gym. You'll not be going to the gym. You see, some people, they, 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 they will have to do this. Do this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will all be strengthened. Amen. Please. Brother, I'm looking at me. Listen. Am I, am I alive? Yes, yes. Oh, God have mercy. And it's time to take. You know me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I'm going to bring you to the house. The bunch of children are going to enter the house. Okay, I'm going to enter Please don't 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 turn this church to uh, a traditional church. God has nothing to do with that. What has
ti gbo ti gbo ke ni ti gbo e jo won kan ba asaka sapala pala asan ti do weda a ba jo to bi pe la ya te aja wo e ke ni si si e ko ti ko ti mu wa wo wa wa ti touch e ma ke ni si no wonder anyway a se be se ni ka ma se please join me welcome uh, the brightest of the brightest You know, when I called her song, she tried to be smart with me. It's like Jonah, that God sent the message. I said, God, that place? Other than, go to Osoro, get over somewhere. God says, I use the foolish change. I'm not saying he in that way to confirm the word. Oh no, you dey want to see? You fit now to what? To to what? My pastor, my brother. God can use anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. But once God gets involved in you, and you are wrapped, covered, saturated in His glory. God will turn you around within a minute. All you got to do is just open that mouth and believe that the word of God will make himself known. That being said, I welcome everybody. I welcome you know, the most reliable instrumentalists in this part of the world. Please yeah. give him a round of applause. Yes. 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 I'm very honorable, very, 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 very humble. humble, very humble. Mm -hmm. I tell my pastor here, Pastor Adadi Jonah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> see, I tell my. My another guy, Evangelist Gabriel Zanu, is there. Uh, without him, I wouldn't have been able to do much here without the grace of God and truth. They have been so wonderful. You know, I welcome my, my big boy here, my son here, all the way from Philadelphia. It's not easy for somebody to be traveling all the way from Philadelphia to worship here. Not only worship. Everything that he could live his life on positively, he doesn't hide it. He doesn't live too high on that. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I welcome my mommy here. You know, we look alike, right? That's my mom. Turn on, let her see. They don't know you. I want to make some people keep jealous. Come on now. I want to make some people feel jealous. Yeah, I have a mom. Now, all the way from Texas, Dallas. God bless you, man. It's so wonderful. If you want to see the other side of me, just toy with that. And I mean it. Just toy with that. And I thank our holy man. Since Monday, since Sunday, she has been present here every day. We had this, this uh, we did the same day, the no more service together last night, and she didn't leave you until maybe 8 a.m. this morning. We've got strength in you, man. Amen. That is what man I got you. Another one, bless you, I'm not going tell us what I want to say now. I have my blood here. My son is here. The latest doctor in town. It's not only spiritual and material, I don't look for love. We got brain. We got what? We got brain. And that is DR Tosin. Okay. He's very young, very, very calculated, very humble, very. Is he handsome? Yes. Like the father? Yeah, that only Jamulamoto Say that again, sir. 
It's Mr. Who? No. You say he's jealous now. Go oh, on, we're laughing now. Spiritual or brain or I don't know where that was. All the way from Florida. She flew, uh, he flew in today and said, that I got, I got to rejoice with you. God will take it to Bethlehem. We only see nothing yet. Come, come Sunday. Come Sunday. I won't let it out yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wouldn't have introduced this man. Because right now I'm still mad at him. He was to, he was, he was to be my body bag. He didn't go to work. He took off. He took off the whole week for the, for the church. Why did what? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking to? <laughs> then why are you looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> don't be my guy. Tell him, don't bully me. Don't bully me. That is brother Ola. Oh. God bless you. And I have, you know, we celebrated somebody's birthday two months ago. I will tell you the secret of what happened. He didn't want to let people know that he's 70. Oh, that was like the way 60. <laughs> who, who, who is talking now? Who am I talking to? I can see everybody here. There's nobody that looks at 60. That right man there, you wouldn't know he's 70 already. <laughs> 70 and two months. <laughs> You will be 80. Amen. You will be 90. Amen. You will be 100. Amen. Come on now, you will be 120. Amen. Then after 120, whatever the man upstairs there like, oh, well, let, let his will be fulfilled. Amen. God bless you, bro. Amen. God be with you. I strengthen you. Amen. You can see all his gray hair. White, Mr. White, that is Mr. White. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have, uh, I will call her my family. I like the sinner first. And cover with your sister me. She doesn't want, she doesn't want you. Uh, yeah, she's using it as a cover. I got you. That is Prophetess Chuku. Mary. <laughs> I, I, I know she never liked me, but I like her a lot. And that is what matters. I know probably when I try to do my best, she will like me. But for now, I thank you so much for coming. When I saw her, because when she called, we spoke last, we said, I might not be coming because uh, I might be going to work. I said, okay, and when I saw her, I was so shocked. She's full of surprises. And she's the general secretary for the prophetic uh, group worldwide. A round of applause for her, please. And somebody just came in. I call her. How many of you know Elisha? How many of you know Elisha, Prophet Elisha? You've heard about Elisha. Elisha is a man or a woman? Huh? Ah? Somebody talk back to me. A man. And if you have a woman, that is Elisha. What do you call her? Elisha. Huh? Elisha. Elisha is God bless you. That is our Elisha. Is. <laughs> uh, Reverend Mother, Reverend Mother Celestial Prophetess Elisha. So you do. If you know, you know, for anybody, know you know, you know, for say that you and it's valid. Hallelujah. And I have my God here. You can see all these things. They tell you the wiring. Everything he had to say. Everything communication. He did it. Yeah. Without yeah. charging me a dime. Thank you. Oh. So at times I feel like just looking at him and giving this. Very, very calm, very understanding. He will come in the morning and leave in the evening without charging me a dime. May God bless you. Amen. And please, I'm, I'm uh, uh, in case it is, so 
Yet Ball Communications, Yet Ball TV, is worldwide. He's licensed both in the, in, the, in the United States and in Nigeria. I saw the license certification. If you want anything corporate, anything communication, anything, anything to promote, anything, Events. event, anything, and in interviews, if you want to promote yourself, sell yourself, let people know who you are. Just call Yet Boy. What did I say? Yet Boy. I will tell you the meaning of that Yet Boy before we finish the service. And that is in his analogy. He's a prophet. He's a sinner apostle. Yes. Huh? Yes. Chris, Chris Lam. Yes. As he said that. Uh, why, why are you, why are you Hallelujah. Anytime he comes there, he comes there with a woman. One woman I've ever seen him with. He always comes here because she's the pan. The bumpo wire. It's like Tom and Jerry. And that's the husband to this. Beautiful, well loaded brain, black ebony, uh, doctor, yet to be the CEO of Get Call Communications. Hallelujah. Before I go back to her, I'm telling my sister from you, I want to think about that. You got you got no choice. But I want to you are there because I no complaint. I lie. I took quite a year. I feel fine. And that is my brother, my friend, my in-law, my colleague. My most supervisor here is uh Roshi G. Anytime I break on your meal, if the record is there. Please do not help me. And to round it up. Before, because we're going to start the service by 12. Somebody said, How? I wish that person is very, very, very strong to say, Yes, I did. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The special guest we have in this night is she's a prophet, she's a senior mother in Israel. She's a medical doctor. I don't want to expose her. You want me to say something? Because you might need her service. Yes. You see that Forestville hospital there? Yes. Forestville there? Yes. She's in charge. She's the number one candidate there. Hallelujah. So if you are a nurse, an LPN, CNA, GPA, what again? Nothing fear. Anything you want, just get out there. Tell her you are from Zanu. Afiti uh, position your basi on unless there's no vacancy. She dare not refuse you. If she refuses, let me know. Okay, and she's gonna be the special guest. She'll be here for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, we want to hear her. I know she's she's pregnant with those words of power. Please join me in welcoming her to the front of us. That's why you should be coming, coming, coming. We have a plus one of you. We have a plus one. You can do better than that. Lord, it is by your mercy. Mighty ones are falling, 
But you can't get us born. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you've done. Despite all the drums that are being beaten by our enemies, you still make us to be firm. We thank you because you counted the world body. From last year's Shiloh, no one is found wanting in this church. Glory be to your name, Lord. We say thank you on our family because you have been massacred. Thank you, Lord. But our Lord, we thank you for that grace that you counted the body to be among those who will be here today. And we're thanking you again that next year we have more cause to be among the living in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. You can all sit down. Um, thank you, sir, for that uh, honor, the grace. Um, I'm a baby, and um, I think I was set up today. I've never been afraid to talk in the open, but uh, today I don't know. Probably because I'm with Mr. Prophet. So, um, our father set me up. Um, so today, um, we're going to be talking about Shiloh, and even up to the moment coming here, I thought I'm coming in to interview him. So I got here, he said I'll be preaching, I was like, what? And you know, in between I'm talking to my job, but you know what, I was standing there, I was uh, meditating and telling God, please speak through me. Amen. Uh, God wants to use you, regardless of what you do, one way, one way or the other, do it. So every year, I'm, I mean, I'm not consistent coming to church for harvest, but I will come, and it's always Shiloh. And then on Monday, I did call them. I said, um, send me your picture so I could make a flyer of you. You know, he said some things. I was in the middle of work. I said, I will call you back. And today is the next time I called them again. And really, I wasn't thinking. So now, when he said I have to speak about Shiloh, what did we understand about Shiloh? What is our understanding of it? Most times, uh, pastors, prophets, you know, we have prophets, prophetesses here. People have um, preached to us since we're little, when we go outside uh, in the car, Shiloh. If we don't know any story, we know uh, the story of El Carmen, which is um, the man in the Bible who had two wives and Every year, they will go to Shiloh, just like we do today. Uh, most times, we don't pay attention to really why uh, we do things. Sometimes we do it because people are doing it. But one thing I want you to follow me with is continue to meditate within yourself. My coming to this church today and my participation in Shiloh for tonight, what is the reason? What is the focus? Why am I here? So, and the reason why I said I'm going to use um, the book of Samuel is because it's very popular. But I'm going to reference it to what is going on in our lives. Shiloh, the great house of God, where prayers is answered. Uh, many times, if you look at the pandemic going on around, mighty ones are falling. It has showed us that even those who said they're scientists, they're now kneeling down, crying unto the Lord, begging, asking God to help them. So also, we, we are the chosen ones. How are we using our anointing? When people come to pray, when they say, okay, we're coming for Shiloh service, or this is a Shiloh event, how are we helping them to make sure their needs are met? As prophets and prophetesses, are we really truly in spirit? Because God doesn't speak and doesn't make it to manifest. Mm -hmm. When He speaks, then it has to manifest. So, are we really saying that this gathering that we're in tonight, whatever we prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ, next year it shall be to the glory of God in Jesus' name? Amen. And as we're sitting, I need us to start meditating. Start thinking of that worthiness, that mightiness of what God has done. Why am I alive? Those who are more righteous than us. Those who sleep in the house of God. Those who know the Bible from the front to the back are dead. Those who are always in the choir store, singing and always there for God. They are no more. But God counted you and I worthy. 
Glory be to his name. Hallelujah. So if we look at the book of Samuel, um, I'm just going to summarize it. Every year, Anna would go, even though the husband really loved her. She's still being mocked by the other wife. Is there anything that someone is mocking you with? As prophets, prophetess, I remember when I was at Metro um, a couple of years ago, I've never seen so much prophets under the same building at one time. I wasn't born into a white church, but I love it. I started with Celestia, but I always use red lipstick. And when I was in my gym, trust me, Baba Guru is always saying, no, I'm a guru. Is in South and in West. It's, it's always something. And then finally I went to Cherubim. And regardless of where I am, trust me, my spirit is always lifted. And so is everyone of us that is called by God. And when God says he calls us, he really means it. We are called. So Shiloh 2020, I'm really happy that we all came. I'm really happy that we are here. They said uh, a lot will come, but only few will be chosen. Mm -hmm. And among those who are chosen is those that are here tonight. Because yes. I look and I think, I say, really, God wants me to be among these prophets and prophetesses. So I'm privileged. Oh, Shiloh, yeah. have you ever thought why you are going through something? Have you ever think, how come me? Did you know if you don't have experience to things in your life, how are you going to relate to somebody? How are you going to tell that person that, oh, you know, um, I went through this and this is what happened. If you don't go through, if you don't have an experience, you're not able to really elaborate or give a good experience because you don't know what that person is feeling. You've not walked on that journey. As prophets and prophetesses, I know you guys have had experiences. You know, there are some things you guys want to do, you be like, no, I don't want to do it because of the repercussion. But when God calls, God will make it to manifest. Amen. So if we look at Anna, despite being mocked, despite that God himself shot a womb, she was humble. She endured. Regardless of how much the husband had loved her, she can still see all that things that the other wife was doing. But that very year that she went, she was focused. You and I would be like, you know what? I'm not going to that church today. I'm going to see you today. And she's going to step on my toes. How many times have we come to church? Are we here to serve humans? Or are we here for God? I always ask people, who are you really in the church for? A lot of us, we don't have reasons for coming to church. Some people will say they come to dance, some people come for the music, some people come so they can show off what they are wearing. Like when my father said, I'm going to preach today, I say, I should be here to call you That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So what is our focus for coming to church? And that's why I said, in your mind, as you're sitting, start telling God that thing that is bothering you. That thing that you really want God to do. I don't know how you have been mocked. I don't know what has happened to you. That people have said, uh -uh, if you want to money, we will eat. We will eat money. Start telling God that prayer you are saying to someone that you want the answer to come. For God to do it instantly. And because you have come here tonight, I believe because of that blood that was shed on Calvary, it will manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. So all through this, Anna was humbled. She did not look at, you know, the side talk. She did not look at what the other wife or the sons or daughter was doing. That's why that God did it himself, which probably she didn't know. But that very year she came like she always do and like we do here too. And she looked unto God. Why everybody was eating, drinking, you know, she went into a corner and she was praying to God. And I believe she has faith with her that day. And she told God, if you will just bless me with a child, I will make sure I dedicate that child to your house. How many of us have we said, God, if you give me my green card, I will sing for the next six years for Big Trip Parish. 
But because our father has stepped on your toes, you decided not to come. I always tell people in my church, if you leave my church, you go somewhere else. They know you. They already mark your face. Oh, but you change church, you know, you have to go with me. Now you have to start from the back. Why? She ensured that that vow that she made that day, God opened her womb and she did have the child. And she brought the child back. How many of us can do that? How many of us have made vow to God? And how many of us have fulfilled that vow? So as prophets and prophetesses, we need to encourage, we need to preach to people, we need to let them know, I want to something you will be able to do. But my saw a jet from a And that is why most times when we pray, the prayer doesn't answer. Because sometimes we already say, oh, to the bay, I'm going down. Mama, what's the church? But you could hear, Kiori, and there's also a war. I'm going to look at Wooly Kong, only similar to the Juma, and you will never come. Or just my leg around Bill Iribo. You're not in church. They can't find you where you sit. You're not where you're singing. We need to make sure our vow, whatever it is, that we fulfill it. And I know whatever it is that is bothering you in your mind, because we see here. We all sitting down, we have different things. I will look at our mom, I will say, wow, I love her, what she's wearing, I love it, she's nice, and blah, blah. And she will look at some things too that she likes with me. We just have to be positive and don't envy each other. But we can envy each other for goodness. So, that thing that you're asking God for, Start telling God, if you do this for me, I will make sure I do this in your presence. You know, gone are the days when we say we have a child, we will bring them to the church. Children of nowadays, they are looking at us parents. They are looking at what we do in the church. They are looking at how we step on each other. And that is why most of them, they are, you know, deviating to other Amen churches. Are they better than white churches? No. I don't. The only good thing is that they get to show up their clothes. Most of us, we are fine clothes. We can't wear it every time because we have to be here in our white purity. So, let's make sure the vow that we're going to make tonight, it is of God. When Ailey called and said, this woman must be drunk. If it is you and I nowadays, if you like, you don't say, holy, yeah, what for I buy me leather? Am I drunk? I to go it on. By that time, you already say one or two words, that blessing already jumped to another year. But she said, no, I'm not. I'm not drunk. So, without praying violently, he told, he told her, your prayer will be answered according to how, how we have asked. And so it was stamped. How many times? No bully to bow us over. And you to read Kusino Tanisirawa. I will wait. What is that person saying? How many times have God really sent to you before you even come to church? Before you even come tonight? That you have told God that whatever come out from my mouth tonight, I want it to be stamped in heaven. So people will know truly you indeed call me. How many times have we been in the eating of our rooms and say, God, to back with me, no, to at the Lord, do, we go share to back to Paris, we can go as you are doing. How many times have we done that? How many times have we left conspiracy in the church? How many times have we said, you know what? I'm just going to face the cross. If Jesus Christ did not come for what he was destined to do, he would not fulfill it. At 33, he finished it up. He had the power, he had the grace to say, you know what, I can't go through this. But he endures it all. So I'm saying this to all of us, 
that we need to practice humility. It doesn't matter the year you got anointed. It doesn't matter how great you are. When people keep saying, oh, you're good. Ah, well, you're going on. Oh, you Trust me. The same people who said you are in flames are the same people who will bring you down. So why don't you just be focused? God, use me for your glory. If we say we are following Christ, he only lived for 33 years. And that was it. And he said, let his will be done. And he left. So why at times that we have to do work, we are afraid. If he really calls you, he will stand by you and will make sure that you are not put to shame as long as you are pure. Trust me. He never said there's not going to be dark clouds. He never said that. Only some of do the hour. But you will overcome. No matter how. If things are going too well as a prophet, as a prophetess, you need to check yourself. Something is wrong somewhere. I'm telling you, it means that either the, the devil is dying or the devil is already close. People don't have to like you. They don't have to. Because the barrier is So we need to make sure that we are focused. What is that calling? Kini, Biwa. So wherever, when we say Shiloh, we need to know the great house of God. Shiloh 2020. I am a particle. You are your, our particles. And in the name of Jesus, we will now regret our coming today. Amen. Everything that we have, that God has said is going to do, that has not manifested, will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And as people are looking at us as prophets and prophetesses, and are saying what is wrong with them, they are always doing this, they are always doing that. God will make sure that that gift that he has given you, that talent that you have had, People will see the glory of God will build on the name of Jesus. Yes, so, my people, please, let us use every day as if it's going to be the last. When we are going to go into prayer, let us make sure we pray. Because if we, he said if we have faith like a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Right now, we have so many prophet prophetesses. And right now, I came with my faith. Trust me. Because next year I'm going to come to give testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so are you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when we're going to pray, make sure you are focused. Make sure you have the faith. And make sure that whatever you ask for, if it's something that is going to be for you, God is not going to answer. I'll guarantee you that. But if it is something that is going to be to the glory and elevation of God, it will be answered in Jesus' name. So don't let us ask for anybody to die. We shouldn't ask for that. Because if people die, people who doesn't like us, who is going to be the carrier of good news in your life? Uh -huh. Who is going to be like, oh, when they poured, when they did the anointing, I was there. But I never believed it because she or he knew somebody. I want to go to the church. So don't let us pray for anybody to die. Jesus knew Judas is going to betray him until the last day. If it is you and I, trust me, who are you going to eat with them? So, in conclusion, let us make sure in everything we do, let us be humble. God loves humble spirits. Let us endure each other. Every church has its own issues. Trust me, it depends on which side. Like now, I'm turning my back to the altar, like my father said. And my side here, I'm facing here, and I'm facing here. Everyone will have different meaning to my sides. And so are churches. And what I will throw out there to everyone, what is my import as a prophet, as a prophetess? What is my import? I always tell God when I go to my church. The day that I'm, I'm there, let good things happen. 
And now I think I'm listening to my spirit. When I know it's not going to be, trust me, I'm doing my prayer, I'm running away, I'm going to walk in there. Because you never know. Let us be humble. God loves humble spirits. Regardless of how mighty you are, let us be meek. Let us endure and tolerate each other. A lot of times we, we don't tolerate each other, it causes problems. Because I'm feeling like, oh, I've been anointed since 1964, and that little girl was just anointed yesterday. Who is she to be talking? Let us live all arrogance and let God speak through us. Anna was able to be blessed by God, even though God did it. Can you believe how God is, we do stuff that sometimes? God will purposely will not do something. And God will say, you know what? Yesterday coming to this church, you're not going to have your green card for 10 years. And then you look at the prophet like, what, what are you talking about? But if you keep walking for me violently, it will come. I've seen it happen. And it will come. So whatever we are doing, let us look at our impact in the house of God. Let us look at our contribution we want to do it for the glory of God. If God calls you to be a leader, trust me, when your time comes, it will not pass you back. And if you look at this pandemic that is going on, God is letting us know it's powerful. So we, what are we talking about? It's not because we know how to do. Some people will say, oh, I'm not going to go to church. I'm going to stay in my house. But as prophets and prophetesses of God, let us remember how we got it. Are we called for just our family within our house? Or we are called for the masses? So please, when you go back to your various churches and if you're here, I want you to have one thing in your mind. My calling. Bimushiba. The shield. Whenever things are asked for sh uh, in shield service, they are supposed to be answered. Am I having an impact in making sure that prayers are answered during shield services? So this shield service for 2020, since we are all partakers, we have to pray. So God, because if there's no sign, nobody will believe. And God says, it's not, he doesn't believe in multitude. He said, where two or three are, there I am. And God is with us tonight. So let us leave whatever is bugging us, whatever we are thinking about, and let's just leave those aside. And let us stand up. Because we're going to pray. Well, maybe three minutes. I hope I've now it's my time. Let us pray. First, we're going to thank God. We will open our mouths. We will tell God we are grateful for all he has done. Because without God, you and I will not be here today. A lot are in the hospital. Thousands have died. And you and I are still standing. It is not for our might. It is not because we're powerful. It is not because we're prophet that can speak in tongues every day. But because it's mercy and joy forever. Let us start to remind God in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, we thank you for this moment. We thank you because without you we have done it. We thank you because we have God of all creation. And you have counted us worthy in all ways. Many are falling, we are not walking the world. But we are giving you grace because we are God. We are giving you grace because you are part of our Father, King of all things. We return all glory, all blessing, all adoration back to you. Because without you, we are nothing. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to thank you one more time. And that you have been praying for you. Amy or Mom, but so long as she finds you, so long as she cook up for me. So you are over there, me, or come to my job, and there no more. Me, you won't. Or come to the January, there no more now. At that you are so long, at me and me only one. At you follow alone, so you can't find my two more.
blessings from God. That's the area. Okay, my mom, what? I do not want this to do not want to Thank <laughs> you. 
as for every sacrifice you make, there's going to be a reward. She said something during her presentation. Probably you were not listening very well. She said, Hannah will have reacted somehow. Hannah will have given it back to the pastor. I said, what the age? Who do you think you're talking to? You didn't pay my flight ticket to America. You didn't pay my bills. How dare you talk to me like that? But instead of that, I don't went on a little and said, come on, that is humility. Sacrifice. And what came out of it? Immediately, the Spirit of God came upon the pastor, the priest, and he declared and made some pronouncement, proclamation to our life. And heaven sealed it. Someone is going to say amen. Amen. And because you've said amen tonight, that thing that is like a clog in the wheel of your success, in the wheel of you giving thanks, in the wheel of you moving ahead, I decree and I declare, right from this night, I'm saying this as a prophet set aside for a time like this, not only a prophet, but came out from the home of a prophet. By this time, next year, Shiro 2021, somebody with a loud answer, you're coming with testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sacrifice, humility. Instead of all challenging the pastor, said, don't talk to, don't worry. After the prayer session, we're done for the day. Then we'll be waiting for Sunday, which is going to be a glorious. One thing that is very unique about this channel. The Spirit of God told me it, it was an inspiration from God. I didn't just pick that word, Shiloh. He said, because I am Shiloh. I'm the Savior and Messiah. He said, every harvest, just name the don't not, not harvest or blessing, harvest or step, harvest or, no, 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 no. He said, just make it Shiloh. He says, and I will continue to meet your needs. Amen. Amen. For somebody here that has one thing or the other. For somebody here, uh, probably you might be watching through the social media. You might have one thing or the other that is a hard desire. That you fear God, when are you going to do it? I tell him to say, yeah, I'm coming again this year. I did the same thing last year. God, when are you going to do it? Remember somebody, honor. Said I would have Jacob said I would have let you go until you blessed me. He didn't lose focus. She wasn't distracted. She was focused and said, God, either the devil likes it or not. That stain that the world has put on my trust. That obstacles that I'm facing right now. I don't want to come back here sometime next year and be complaining and whining. I want to give testimonies and it was sealed. Your heart is there today. Because you've come to meet your God that is God Shiloh. In the mighty name of Jesus, Shiloh 21 will be a year of testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, we have that, that, that bottle of water, please. The Bible says, obey the prophets and shall prosper. Shall we give the woman a better order of her prospects? She did not get to that. That means I will, I, will, I will be extending my invitation more, 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 more to you. Uh, you get news to it, but then just open your water. Open your water. I can feel it is my spirit. God is visiting a soul here tonight. I don't know if that is you. There's somebody here. The Lord, the Spirit of God is leading me to prophesy to a soul here that has this internal problem. It says internal problem. Latin, no one. 
open your water. Because I believe God is God that changed her. He did it in the lives of our fathers. He healed with his seven strength. Open your water. As you are standing, if you want to sit down, that's fine. God will answer your prayers. Either you're kneeling or you're crawling or you're standing to jump it. It doesn't matter. God needs this. Your heart. Your heart and your faith in Him that we will do what He promised He's going to do. If you have that your water in your hand, please, can I have one? Please, someone help me. Can I have one, please? It's like you all don't like me in here. If you have begun to declare something into that water you're holding, thank you, sir. You know your heart desires. You know the pain you're going through. You know what your pain is. I do not know and I don't want to know. But one thing that I know that I know is the man that sees it all, God, Jehovah. He sees the innermost part of your heart. Only one Probably we're having this garden tonight because of someone. And if you are at home watching through the social media, get your bottle of water with faith, get connected. God is everywhere. What God is about to do here tonight, He can do it in the east, north, south, and west. Just believe. Attach your face. Your faith, attach it. Just begin to speak what your heart desires, which is into the water. God is going to save a soul. I like that. Let me feel you, mom. Let me feel that. I like that, my I like that. Come on, give it to him. Give it to me. Begin to declare.
Nevertheless, the same miracles. As you are looking at me, wherever you might be right now, with your heart connected oh, to your Christ, your Lord, your Savior, it is not me. You focus in your attention. You focus it on the deliverer of your soul, God, that can do exceedingly more than your expectation. Tonight will be a night to remember for good. All I need from you is Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. All I need from you this moment is you come into an agreement with me. Attach your faith to my faith. I will hang it out to Christ. The finisher and author of our faith. Wherever you need to shout amen, say it loud like you never, you've never said amen like that before. Amen. 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 Jehovah. Amen. Come on, y'all. We can do better than that. We're talking about a name that is greater than all names. We're talking about a name that can heal your diseases, your infirmities. We're talking about a name that can that can bring deliverance and salvation into your life. Now we're talking about a name. That has stop all these tongues. The tornadoes of your life, he can tell it with, a, with one word, come. Yes, yes. And it will come. Amen. We're talking about a name that is greater than the greatest. We're talking about a name that it says all men will be saved. No one that says, call on me. And I will answer you in the times of distress. Call on me. I will answer in times of troubles. Call on me. I will answer when nobody is here. When you have nobody to lean on. He says, call on me. I'm talking about the name that can perform wonders in your life. You see, Opa. I feel the spirit of God touching every bottle of water. I could see the flame like that of a candle dropping into the waters we have in. The flame of power, the flame of healing, the flame of deliverance, the flame of long life that will heal your diseases. Ah! She hover. Now, as a prophet that you set aside for a purpose, and if there's a purpose, there must be a fulfillment of that purpose. Because you say whatever you say will never come. Boy. It got to be fulfilled. Yes. For every purpose, there must be a fulfillment. God, because you've set me aside, right from my mother's womb as a prophet. After 13 months, 3 weeks, 3 days, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, in the womb of that woman. That people was delivered. Through the grace of God, empowered and strengthened for His glory. And I declare right now, with the waters you're holding, God, the time has come. Turn the water into that of healing. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, turn it to that of restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, turn to that of upliftment. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let the water perform miracles. Amen. Yes, we will be drinking the water. It doesn't matter how long that illness or disease has been there. 
God is turning the water into his blood right now. Because there's deliverance, there's healing, there's empowerment, there's grace, there's strength in his blood. Know what I say? By his blood, we are healed. And I decree right now as a prophet of God, any infirmities that you brought here today, any obstacle that you brought here today, and all your ups and downs, or even what I mean, some so valleys, or some, 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 some hills, even this charm of this world. May you be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Somebody said a big and loud amen. You will be delivered. Yeah. From the snares and followers of this world, you will be delivered. Yeah. From witches and wizards, you will be delivered. Yeah. From sickness and poverty, you will be delivered. Yeah. Especially the time we are in now, unusual time. They call it COVID, pandemic. He told Moses, use that blood as a smack into the homes of the children of Israel. It says, when the angels of death passes by. Oh, I feel like prophesying and declaring right now. It says, once the angel of death passes by and sees the mark, it will pass them by. Yes. Right now, because you come onto this mountain, wherever you step your foot, wherever you go, amidst enemies and hardship, you will be covered by his blood. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will be saved by his blood. Amen. You will be delivered by his blood. Amen. Your families will be covered. Amen. Your children will be covered. Amen. Your household will be covered. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For well, see, that time is the last harvest celebration in this area for the year 2020. Because God has made you a partaker of this glory. I decree and I declare, I make the pronouncement as an oracle prophet of God. This time next year, it's going to be a year of fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Before the year ends, come on, let me say that. This time next year is equal to four. Before the year runs out, oh, yes. if it is 1159, oh, yes. 1159, December 2020, oh, yes. that sound of hallelujah, yes. that sound of thank you, God, yes. that sound of all you've done it, yes. you hear that sound? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. the promise of God in your life. We come to fulfillment. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Devil cannot stop it. Amen. Enemy will not stop it. Amen. Tell somebody it is unstoppable. It is unstoppable. Tell somebody you are unstoppable. unstoppable. Your glory is unstoppable. unstoppable. Your healing is unstoppable. unstoppable. Your victory is unstoppable. unstoppable. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. May the grace of the Father, Holy. the grace of the Son, Holy. And that of the Holy Spirit. I stretch that hands of anointing. That the Lord says, whatever you bound here on earth shall be bound in heaven. He says, whatever I lose on earth shall be losing in heaven. I'm declared as a prophet of God. The highest confidence and boldness in God. That he will do what he has promised that he will do. You go home with blessing. Amen. You're going home with deliverance. Amen. You're going home with holy. Amen. This time next year, you're coming with testimonies. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Don't no, 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 let us be in great. Hallelujah is giving the best of praises to God. Acknowledging that God is the supreme and the ultimate, that He has answered your prayer. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout victory. Hallelujah. Sip on your water, sip your water. You don't have to finish it with time. If you can, 
Now, that is it for today. But before we go, thank God. Somebody get me a tree there. Okay. That's okay. Okay, and thanks you to together. Okay, and bless you together. Thanks you to everything together. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want us to spend more than another five minutes. Five minutes here. Get a tree here, please. If you have a special offering to, if you have something to offer, Hallelujah. Only. And much about your new at me of it, me as some. Do something to connect your deliverance, connect your blessing. Do something. So, you, you want to do that now? and the connection and thanks of it. No, just come yourself. Just walk, come, come. Come, just come, come. Don't, don't let anybody bring it to you. Come. Fear sharing while around here. Use your own leg to come and buy your blessing, your progress, your success. Come on, come on, come on. And before you go, there's a lot to eat. Uh, Thanksgiving. Please let me bring the food out. Especially the part ones. Please make sure before you leave, get hold of a takeaway there. Sir, say that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a His gates we is gaining, hallelujah. His gates we is gaining, hallelujah. His gates we is singing, hallelujah. His gates we is singing, hallelujah. So shall it be. Amen. Your blessings will come to you. Amen. Favor will come your way. Amen. Because you've done this, God will remember you for good. And on Sunday, which is the glory of the, the last harvest for the year. You see, it's like you're making a covenant with God. And that is why I'm, I'm the last man standing. The last one standing. And this is the harvest. You're going to put some supplication before God and say, I come. I saw the last harvest of this year, 2020. Hallelujah. And the year 2021, I got to say, it's like you're making a deal with God. And that is why you don't have to miss it. We got our mask here, your temperatures will be checked. We got sanitizers here. And above all, we got the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. You're not saying it like you believe in it. Blood, blood of Jesus. Above all, yes. you still have to obey the CDC's law. Strictly. Strictly. If you don't, if you come here without a mask, we'll give you one. We have hundreds of it here. We will give you here temperature gauge with touch of temperature, and it will it will not be too congested. We have two canopies down. That we have enough heat there. That is going to get to a state. We say, please turn off the heat. You will be very comfortable. So if the church is too congested, the outside there we have an overflow. And before you go, as you go, please don't shy. Nobody's going to give it to you. You're going to use your own hand. Pick your own glory, your joy. 
is there. Just open it. Put it if you want to take two, fine. That is double portion. If you want to take three, fine. Like my brother that celebrated his 70th birthday two months ago, I don't think he needs much. He's the oldest man here now. Hallelujah. Somebody shout about 70. It's not 60. It's 7. And I have to thank you all. I like you. I like you. I like you. You have know, been wonderful. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you. Because you've done, you've done this for God. God will remember you for God. Amen. Your company will explode. Amen. God will take you to greater heights. Uh, your company will be bigger than CNN. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But let me tell you this if it is good for you, remember me. Don't forget me now. That there was a prophet that said that declared something to his life. And. Uh, God will bless you. Amen. And I thank you all for coming. Please, by the time you come back on Sunday, in the expectation of taking glory from 2020 into 2021, when you saw 2020 last harvest, you're going to see last harvest 2021 in Jesus' name. Amen. Why, why are we not grateful? Yes, sir. Some of our friends are gone. Yeah. Some of your colleagues are gone. But God has preserved you for a purpose. You are still here. You are still here. Give God the best praises. I thank you for his mercy. And as you go home, I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. May the grace of God go with you. May it lead you home. Cover you. Get you saturated in his blood. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. You see, we still have hallelujah. You see, when uh, Pastor Kanye called me, this is mean that he's here. I, I, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it because we spoke last week, he said he's going to send his donation. And he has come with at least eight of his members. Hallelujah. Some will be flying tomorrow, but he drove it. Uh, I appreciate him a lot. If you see his church, his church, what is bigger than the Pacific? This is a special announcement. Yet Ball Entertainment. Rose the grammar too much. Yet Ball Entertainment Network now your number one network production company. Photo and video production when we do to make sure say all your bungee parties are meeting. They enter video recording and even live streaming. To come package your next event or your next matter, just call us for this number. 240-595-1802 or 240-605-0133. Or if you even call 240-543. 0913 or plus 234-807-2004-793. If it through away email, call meet us for yetball photo video at gmail.com or even sell for yetball photo video at yahoo.com. Enough finish for the L. You can also follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Yetball Entertainment Network. We full ground to cover your next event. Just call us today to come cover your matter. Yet Ball Entertainment, Entertainment Network, Network, your, your Ogunga production, production company. Abalagani, oh, 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 White rice dodo ati chicken pelu awon orisirisi o nje lewa ki ta se ninu imotuto please your order now through DoorDash, drop up or uber eat 832 774 3464 shadow location shadow location 11323 business street Houston, texas 77099 or shadow texas at yahoo.com
yahoo.com. Chadola Kitchen. Bubunjele wa. Iron Lubati.